$2.49 per gallon. Good timing for a road trip. Desert Mothang. so breathtaking. We just had to pull over to take some beautiful pictures. Okay, no falling off the road. Extra warm mountain, not cold mountain. So we're gonna be nice and warm for camping. After about four hours of driving, we finally entered the Sequoia National Forest. is our site for the night, number 188, and that's our little uh, bear safe box. And we're gonna install our tent right here, I think, right beside the fire. Okay, we put all our food and scented products in our bear box here to be safe, extra safe. Massive pine cones because of it. This is huge. Well, we're having some guava cart wheat ale with guava and passion root. It's very good. Mm. Check this out. Super tasty. Yeah, you did the fire. Yeah, with the little scrappers. Yeah, very good. Fire from the woods. Didn't even have to buy firewood. Oh, yeah. Très bien, Meg. You ready for hot dogs? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And craft dinner. Oh yeah. It's gonna be very good. It's got a chicken wieners. hot dogs, yeah. chicken wieners on a big fire that Megan made. Very good. Extra creamy craft dinner time. I think this is this. Gourmet camping dinner right here. KD and Susis. How is it, Meg? Très bon. Très bon? Okay, perfect. This is kind of crazy. We're at such high altitude that the yogurt, the air in the yogurt has expanded. Let's see. Oh god. <laughs> okay, Sherman Tree Trail. Here we go. Oh my god, you're so squishy and so cute. That's all. Look at his little nose. Hi. It's usually pretty yum yums. 
It was really cool to walk among giants. These two giant sequoia trees most likely started their life at the same time many centuries ago. They're called the Tough Twins because they've lived through several fires, which you can see in their obvious fire scars. The annual growth rings from this giant sequoia stump show that the tree lived for about 2,210 years. Marks within some rings show that during that time at least 80 different fires burned hot enough to leave a scar. Wow. We're gonna walk through the fetal tree. Don't even have to duck. <laughs> no, man, he's taller than me, so far. So this is the General Sherman tree, the yeah, largest tree in the world. Okay. A base of 36.5 feet. Well. The General Sherman is the world's largest tree measured by volume. An impressive feature of sequoia trees is that their trunks remain wide higher up. The diameter of this trunk, 60 feet, above the base is still 17 and a half feet. While giant sequoias are able to withstand the heat of moderate fires with their thick bark, more severe fires have killed many large sequoias in the past decade. So in 2021, the General Sherman was actually wrapped in a protective aluminum blanket to protect it from an uncontrolled fire. If you slow down and enjoy yourself, the air is thin here at 7,000 feet. Take your time and enjoy the views as you climb back up the trail to the parking lot. Yeah, I can definitely feel the lack of oxygen here. The lungs are working extra hard, but it's okay. We're almost there. Almost there. We have a burrito de pollo and quesadilla de pollo. Finally made it to our hotel through this rain. We've got a nice pool over there that's closed. <laughs> Megan. How's the washroom? It's fine. Nothing special. Nothing special? Just a regular washroom. Okay. Okay, so somehow I managed to book like the sketchiest hotel room. For $150 American, this is what we get. We get like Homeless people, people, I don't know, like super sketch people yelling outside and probably prostitutes and no prostitutes. for sure. And our bed is like, the sheets were super dirty, like black dirty. And the lady just gave us like new sheets to put on top. So what we did, oh yeah, and then we had these shitty ass pillows. So luckily we had our own pillows and our own blankets for camping. So we're camping inside a hotel room. Perfect. <laughs> so sketch. We're literally camping inside our hotel room. Like what the hell is going on? Ending a pre-made salad. Yep, très bien. And there's not even any water coming out. <laughs> oh my god, I guess I'm not showering. This is not happening. Okay, cool. Well, no sh I guess it's gonna be a towelette shower tonight. Okay, so a little update. We uh, we survived our horrible night at the shitty, what was it called? Red in Lion. Red Lion in like, uh, Sweets. In Redding, California. Extremely, extremely sketch area, but we survived, we made it. And the car is fully intact, so we're on our way back to Canada. 
lesson learned. Yeah, lesson learned. Look for reviews when you book a hotel. Okay. <laughs> now we know we're safe. We're not itchy, so no bed bugs. Okay. And now we're gonna go find some hot springs and relax because we had a lot of anxiety. <laughs> Weed, California. Meg, this is your town. Yeah, clearly. Welcome to Weed. I feel like that used to be a volcano that erupted because everything around here is like dead. Look at that. No trees. Well, there's some trees, but they're all burnt. Crossing for the cows. Careful, Meg. Let's not hit any cows up ahead. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Make sure you pay your five dollars. Oh, a rainbow bridge. is keep right, okay. I'm gonna go to the right. Vancouver now would I still well we're from Seattle. Yeah. Oh very close, yeah, yeah. we're driving there tomorrow. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My god, it's so green. Yeah, it's like rainforest. Rainforest. Cute. Yeah. Yeah. Very cute. Thank you. Nice pool. Yeah. If it wasn't so cool. Nice pool. Yeah. Well, flowers. What? Flowers. Yeah. I wish it was warm enough to use a nice pool. We have 265 and then 275. Like, where the fuck is 268? Room is non-existent. Non-existent room. Like, 
We literally have one of the workers helping us find the room and she can't even find it, so we're just camping. Right here. By the elevator. Yeah, I've been doing this for 15 minutes. Meg, are you hungry? Oh, yeah. What the fuck, man? I want to eat the whole chicken. <laughs> oh. Okay, we found the mystery of 268. Woo! Oh, yeah, very cute. There's light. Okay, we finally made it. Very cute room. We each get our own bed. Very nice. Oh, we even have a closet. Look at that. And a very nice washroom. Okay. They're free, dude. They're free. They're both free. There you go. So apparently we have different speed limits for different lanes here. 60 or 45, depending where you are. And the foggy city of Seattle. Okay, so it took us two and a half hours to cross from US to Canada, but we made it and we did not make our 815 ferry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay because now we see a nice sunset and we're on the 1045, so we're gonna get home, but super late, but it's yeah. okay. And now we're gonna get food. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go on the boat. Okay, perfect. Thumbs up. At least we're the first in line here. Lane number 27. So the ferry terminal did not have any food, so we ordered a pizza and they brought it to us. Oh yeah, stuffed crust. Our last leg of the trip consisted of a two hour ferry in the dark to make it back home to beautiful Vancouver Island. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for some more local videos on beautiful Vancouver Island. Adios for now.